let me show you how you can connect a job form with OpenAI using Make, formerly known as Integromat. So let's get started with this tutorial. Welcome to Job Form. My name is George, and today I'm going to show you how to connect to OpenAI. So this is my main dashboard for Job Form, and you will need a form to start out. So in this case, we're going to use this feedback form. Now, to get started, let's jump into Make, which is previously previously known as Integral Map. Now, to get started, we're going to go into Scenarios, and we're going to create a new one. So it's going to create a scenario. And the first thing that we're going to need is the trigger. What is going to be the trigger? Well, the trigger is going to be when someone fills out our form. So in this case, let's search for job form. Let's go ahead and select it. And we're, we're going to watch for submissions. So let's select that one. And we are going to connect. So let's click on add. And again, we're going to add a connection. And we are going to need the API key from job form. Let me show you where you are going to get that. Let's go into our job form dashboard. We're going to click on the avatar and we're going to click on settings. In settings, there's a section on the left menu that says API. Let's go ahead and select it. And we are going to generate a new key. In this key, we are going to go ahead and name it make. This way we can locate it later on. Let's copy this key and let's go into make again. Let's go ahead and paste it here Go ahead and save it and it should connect and read the forms that we have. Like I mentioned before, we should have forms previously created. If not, we can go ahead and create them and click on this little refresh button. So that means if you connect first and then make the form later, we'll need to refresh it. And like I said, we are going to use the feedback form. So let's go ahead and save this. Oh, sorry, a really quick tip here, and I'm glad that it did that error, is that we need to give it full access. There we go. Go back into make. Let's go ahead and save it. Here we go. Now it's connected. Let's click OK. There we go. It's refreshing the metadata. So that means it's receiving the data from the form. So it's been previously filled out. So it's going to have data ready for us to use. Now, let's add the next module. And the next module is going to be OpenAI. So let's search for OpenAI. Here it is. OpenAI GPT-3. Select it. And we have several settings available. In this case, we're going to create a completion. There we go. Let's click on add because we are going to connect to OpenAI again. And it's going to ask us for the API key from OpenAI. So let's go jump over to OpenAI. This is the main dashboard for OpenAI. And you're going to click on your name over on the top right. And there's a section that says view API keys. Let's click on that. And we're going to have several API keys. We are going to create a new secret key. And that's the A. API key that we're going to need. Once we have that API key, we're going to paste it here and we are going to use it. In this case, I've already connected my OpenAI, so we're going to use it. Now, the first thing that it's going to ask you is to select the model. The model is the AI engine that's going to be used for the AI implementation. Now, the latest model is DaVinci 003, which is the most advanced one. And that's the one um, we would recommend for the most advanced and best prompts. Now, the prompt is where you're going to select what you want to do with the form submission. You can generate a reply based on the submission. You can choose to verify the information. So, for example, check if there are spelling mistakes and we are going to use the submission data. So we're going to use this data right here, which is describe your feedback. So from the feedback prompt, that's what we're going to use. We can leave these as they are. By default, it's set to 16. It might be a little bit too short. I would recommend 256. Okay, you can add as many as you like. Remember, these are consumption tokens from OpenAI. Temperature, we'll leave it as default, top P and N, all as default. So let's click OK. And the implementation should be ready. Let's go ahead and run it once. Here we go, just to make sure that everything's working fine. And it's waiting for data. So what do we have to do? We're going to fill out the form once so it receives that data and it generates the, well, in this case, it's going to verify the spelling on that message. Okay, so let's go ahead and open up the form that we're going to use, which is the feedback form. Let's go ahead and edit this. Let's publish it and let's open it in a new tab. Let's go ahead and fill it out. And this is where the OpenAI is going to work. So for example, it's going to receive this field, this element to check for spelling mistakes. Okay, so in this case, I'll fill out my name, email, and let's go ahead and submit it. 
Let's go back into make and it should receive it. Here we go. The request was accepted. Scenario was initialized. Scenario was finalized and scenario run was complete. So let's go ahead and check the results for this. Let's go back. Okay, you can see it's been used once and we're gonna go into history and you can see here, it just ran right now, less than a second ago. Let's see the details for this. Okay, we can see it received the submission and then OpenAI created the information. So this is what it received. Check for spelling mistakes and this is the message from the particular field. Now, the result, what's this? It's going to choice. And here's the result. No, there were no, there are no spelling mistakes. So we use AI to analyze the message and get the, this result. Now, we have the automation ready to connect with OpenAI. It would depend how you want to integrate this with Jotform and OpenAI. It can generate replies, it can check for spelling mistakes, it can check for accuracy, it can check for different fields or all the fields, it can check if the email is correct, if it exists, and all of that. We can go ahead and go into edit and we can add more modules to this. So it depends, like I said, how you want to automate this. There's a ton of apps available in Make that you can further integrate this for automations. Now, just as it is right now, it's going to automatically receive that data and generate the GP3 with OpenAI, just like that. Well, that is how you are going to connect a job form with OpenAI using Make. Well, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that little bell notification to get notified when new videos come out. And that's a wrap.